this is the Logitech G Pro Super Light. So this is one of the lightest wireless mouse that you can have right now. I've used the mouse for a month and my first impressions are pretty good. It comes with its own uh, USB dongle that you can store over here. That makes it very good while you're traveling with it. Now it doesn't have any buttons for changing the DPI, it just has the right click, left click and two side buttons. The mouse kits are also made of PTFE and are pretty good and they have really good tracking. And it's really light and uh, the clicks are also very solid and they feel very assuring and very firm. And what I like a lot about it is the scroll wheel. It somehow feels a much lighter experience compared to the other scroll wheels that I've used. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it just feels very smooth and it seems like it takes very little effort while registering the exact scrolls that you are making. Now if you look at its shape, it's a very neutral balanced shape. Now in the one month that I have used it, while I really liked the way the mouse tracks, as well as the clicks, uh, I did not like the height. And my hand is a bit small and for me even though it fits nicely and my aim I feel is really good I feel a bit uncomfortable while using it it was something I thought I would get used to because normally it takes a while to get used to the different mouse shape but even after a month uh, it's it's not something that I feel comfortable with I, I really like the mouse it's excellent and if I can feel that it has made a difference in my aim I'm pretty sure somebody who is very serious about uh, FPS gaming would find a big leap uh, when you compare this to something else. And what I'm using instead of this right now is the Logitech G305. Yes, it is heavier, uh, it is much cheaper, the skates are not as good as this, but it just feels a lot more comfortable for me. And uh, if you look the height that I was talking about, and you can compare these side by side and you can see that this is slightly flatter than this. And it is just that small difference that really makes it comfortable for me while I am holding the mouse and while I'm using it. Now, don't get me wrong, this is an excellent mouse and I really love it. The only two things that I do not like about this is the first thing that it does not have a USB Type-C charger. It comes with a mini USB and there is no DPI switch on it. Uh, you can change the DPI, but you have to go through the software. Without going through the software, you cannot change the DPI on the fly. Unlike this, which has a DPI switch over here. And that makes life a lot more easier because when I'm gaming, I set the DPI to be a lot lower than what my normal DPI would be when I'm using the desktop. So overall impressions, this is an excellent mouse. Don't get me wrong. The build quality is way, way different compared to this. It's much better. The clicks... Uh, it, it's something that you know you really have to try it. The first time I used this, I was pretty sure that it was clicking differently. This started feeling a bit looser for compared to this mouse when I came back to it. So that's about it. The only other mouse which I can compare with this as far as the tracking goes is the Razer Viper Mini. Now that's also a slightly different mouse because it is much smaller and it is wired whereas this is wireless but uh, oh my gosh it's, it's so tough it's so tough uh, i really want to love it but unfortunately it does not fit in my hand maybe if it was slightly flatter uh, with the same weight i would have really loved it but yeah uh, that's about it that's my impression about uh, the logitech g pro super light i really like it i want to love it and i want to keep it but i just can't get used to it your mileage may vary, so I would always recommend that if you're buying a mouse, especially something that's expensive as this, this is maybe three times the price of the Logitech G305. And if you're spending so much money, you go to the shop and physically check it out. See how it feels in your arm and see how it feels in your different grips. If you want to have a claw grip or a fingertip or a palm grip, just go through it and, and see how it feels in your hand you know maybe use it for a couple of seconds make some uh, flicks or some different actions that you would make while playing fps games and try to see if it really feels comfortable for you or not i could not do that with this i got it as a gift from someone but uh, yeah i guess i'm not going to be keeping this as much as i like it so i hope you liked this review and i hope it was informative for you as well while you're buying your next mouse and until next time, see you. Bye.